It has been five years since this layout has been built. And now, I'm finally going to do an update on my HO scale layout. I hope you enjoy this video. Construction on this layout has started in 2013. And you can see that all the trains on this layout have DCC and sound. But when it was first built, all the trains were just DC. And all the DC ones had pretty much retired. In these pictures, you're looking at the three remaining DC trains I've gotten. The Burlington Northern one is being used as a helper engine. I did the little maintenance on the Burlington Northern one so it can run on the track well. One corner of the layout, there's an incline. It's actually made from Woodland Scenics foam inclines. And there's the Metra waiting to depart, and a Santa Fe that has just finished its long trip. There's a Chicago and Northwestern low nose GP9 that's cleaning the track. There's also a steam locomotive that is being scrapped right now. It really sucks to see a steam locomotive getting scrapped. This was a broken engine that actually came from a garage sale. There's a lot of switch towers on this layout, and this is the very first time I have successfully built a building kit. One of my favorite parts of the layout is this Broadway Limited Water Tower. It just works so well. I got it for my birthday, and every part of that water tower just works perfectly. It was also easy to set up, too. Let's move out. There's a Santa Fe F-45 pulling a coal train. The coal loads that you see in the hoppers, I've actually made removable coal loads myself, and they actually work a lot better than just filling it up. That would actually prevent spills. I have also added a fence to the layout, and I also don't have a lot of cars. There's the North Fork and Western 611, carrying a passenger train known as the Powhatan Era. The tunnel used to be right there. And the town used to be right here. Yeah, the tunnel and the town had switched places once. There also used to be a road bridge right there. This area may be bumpy. Actually, that's because there used to be a road right there. One of the best diesels I have is this Amtrak E8 in the Phase 1 paint scheme. There's a roundhouse with a turntable made from Atlas. There's a Sioux Diesel. And that roundhouse isn't the only shed connected to the turntable. Yeah, that's actually a repair shop. There's the Pensy T1 duplex speeding by. There's Santa Fe 3751 carrying an excursion.
turntable, of course, is motorized. I have also made a storage area for coal. Yeah, I glued it myself. I know this layout is not Lionel, but I do find this billboard very cool. Speaking of Lionel, I'm going to switch to O gauge because the HO scale trains keep derailing too much. And no joke, I have also pre ordered the Lionel Vision Line in Niagara. Some other trains I would like to mention is the New York Central Hudson. And no joke, it's the very first train of Broadway Limited. These two Reading T1s. Another Amtrak passenger train. I feel guilty buying it because of the fact that Amtrak is now shutting down excursions. The BNSF. The Southern Pacific Black Widow, that's like the very first DCC HO scale train I've ever gotten. A Milwaukee Road S3 and Pennsylvania M1B. The Pennsylvania Decapod. And a Norfolk and Western Class A. Number 1218. Step Diner. The scale is just close enough to HO. I'm sorry about that wire there. Yeah, it was just a failed attempt to get it to light up. I did, but the light bulb burnt out. You can see a bunch of small little details there. Like a rusty boogie and a couple rusty wheels. The rust was actually paint. And you can also see some broken details. Um, some of these details actually came from old broken models. The sticks and rocks you see actually came from outside. Some people say that their favorite part of the layout is the bridge. I have to agree, some people do say that this part of the layout is actually kind of cool. This signal bridge is from BLMA Models, and it sucks. I have only gotten two heads on this signal bridge to light up because it was so difficult to set up. It's already cracking. The layout also has 11 switches. Only six of them are actually motorized. This station here is on a curb and has a couple railroad crossings on it. It's modeled after one of the stations at the Metro's Union Pacific West Line. And here's the track plan. Pause it if you want to look at it longer. Just ignore the red. And ignore the connections. Those connections are not true. Let's not forget to save the best for last. My favorite locomotive on this layout is the Broadway Limited Union Pacific Big Boy. It comes with both depleting coal load and a smoking whistle. Well, 
that's it for this video. One thing about train layouts, they are never finished because you can always add more. But I'm switching to O-Gage, and the next time I move, this layout will be gone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.